face on the phone. So now, if I'm running, I usually most of my athletes can get into a good pose position. But as I translate over the hip, if I'm missing extension, then the leg turns to turn out. And we've talked about this in the tunnel. Then as I come through, because I've had to blow off torque here, I end up striking with that open foot. And even if I'm a good pose runner, and this athlete is taking care of, he's, he's good, he's got pose technique, he can't out technique his position. So he blows off and then ends up in this open position and then that really, really puts a big stress. And lo and behold, you're also, we also found on him very, very tight in this flexor wad, open knee position, really stiff ankle, missing hip extension. So I want you to think that IT band is like a, it's an intramuscular septum. It's a, I think some, some, someone told me recently, they did some research where they put about four or 500 pounds in it. It stretched like 1% and then broke. So it's not going to stretch very well. It doesn't really stretch just because it's a big piece of tendon. And then the issue is that it also dives down and creates the kind of front compartment and back compartment. So it's, an I, it's a, literally an I-beam into your leg. What we have to think about is, is that really the problem? It's really stiff. Of course we're going to see stiffness and tension at the top as I'm trying to kind of buffer the mechanics around it. But really what's happening, let's restore those positions. Let's take the tension and the rotation out so it stops being so irritable. Well, Billy, we'll see you guys tomorrow.